Welcome back to the full deck redo in 2022. Last year I altered 52 playing cards in 52 days. This year I'm taking it one week at a time and we will be working on card number six and this card last year was created with a Smithsonian magazine images and I'm going to utilize magazine images again only in a different way. Name is Peg. 2 Cosmix Media is what I call my channel. I try to create videos that are concise, to the point, and short enough in length that I don't bore you. I hope you'll take a moment, subscribe to my channel. Your comments, like buttons help me dramatically, so please hit that notification bell as well. You can also find me along the web or across the web at my website, Instagram, and I have a Facebook page that is, or a Facebook group, that I'd love to have you join. Starting by finding an image out of a high-quality magazine. <clears throat> Excuse me, I found this picture of Audrey Hepburn that I will be using. I laid down some raw umber, a light, very light coat, and am transferring that image onto the gel press. Now to pull it, I am pulling with a green-gray or a gray-green and a very light coat of that again as well. I am utilizing a piece of resume paper. It's just a little higher quality paper. I had it in stock. Why not? And that image came out fine. I'm going to tear across the corner because in this year's deck, I decided to show the denomination of the card on each one. Utilizing my art glitter glue to glue the image down. We'll just place it where I would like to see it, flip it over, make sure it's glued well, and I will trim around the outside edges of that card. So now we have our image in place. I would like to frame it in with some stays on black ink just going around the outside edges. And of course, I should have completed that to the piece of paper before I put it down. But to solve that issue, I've grabbed a small paintbrush, dipping it in my ink pad, and just going along that torn edge. Now to get ready to attach the wire. With my craft pick, I am just punching holes down the side ever so often. And I am utilizing a copper wire that is silver coated. It's a craft wire, inexpensive, easy to access. Now that I have a length cut off that I want to use, I'm just wrapping it around anything that is in a round cylinder shape. Could be a pencil, a paintbrush, I chose a clay tool, anything works feeding that spiral through those holes that were punched on the card. And I'll feed that through until I get to the very top. Just twisting and turning until it is completely through all of those holes. Once completely through, I trim off the excess, take my little jewelry tool here, which is just a round nose plier, and I'm twisting it into a spiral so it will not come through my hole. And that completes the addition of the wire. Now to decorate, I've chosen a black cardstock. <clears throat> and we'll put it down in the corner. And I've just punched a 2 inch and a 1 inch circle. I will be placing these circles inside this embossing folder. It is a floral embossing folder or a bunch of different flowers. And I'm trying to position the circles where I get the completed flower. And I've had that to the embossing folder now and you can see the raised images, but we will make that be a bit more clear by adding some embossing powder to these images. So let's get it glued down first, trim it off the outside edge, or trim the outside edges off, 
And now we'll add the Versamark ink to catch the silver embossing powder. I'm just taking a very small paintbrush to clear up any embossing powder where I don't want it. Now that I have it in place, I will hit it with the heat gun. And you must be very, very careful with the heat gun by coming in and out because this card is plastic. It's a plastic playing card and you will warp or melt it. I have inked up the outside edges of that card to put the embossing powder around the edges and once again coming back in with that heat tool and being very careful to not melt the card. So I'm in and out. And now I believe I'm going to go ahead and emboss, add the embossing powder to the small one as well. I liked it both ways, the solid black and the small one, but I think I'm, I shall use the embossing powder on this and add a small piece of cheesecloth in between the two layers and glue it down. And that completes that card. This card was done very similar, only I used toilet paper to create the embellishment. So let me show you how I use that toilet paper tube. Not toilet paper, but the tube itself. I cut it in half, placed it in my embossing folder, and once embossed, I cut it into or used the hole punch to cut it into a two inch circle and a one inch circle once again. Now this gets a little jammed up in my hole punch and I jammed it because I cut over that diagonal line on the tube which is thicker. So if you avoid that diagonal line on the tube it won't get jammed up like this in your hole punch. It's not so thick that it dulls a blade or injures a blade. You can always punch through aluminum foil to sharpen your blades back up on the punches. But just avoid punching over that line and you can see where that difference in depth created that little jam. Now that I have the embossing in place, I want to use the same color that I pulled the magazine image with, which was a light blue. Just painting over the, in the little toilet paper two inch circle with the light blue. And I will use <clears throat> the heat tool to get this dry quickly. And once dry, I want to add that to, of course, the corner of the card like I did on the first one. But on this one, I am choosing to put cheesecloth behind the big circle. So I grab some cheesecloth and I'm placing it behind the circle and just cutting in a circular motion around the outside edge. Once I have it in place, I will fray that cheesecloth so I have those frayed edges coming out from underneath that bottom circle. Gluing that in place. And once in place and secure, I'll flip that over and trim around the outside edges. I'm just going around and fraying, holding it down with my thumb so that it doesn't slip off. And now let's just do a quick trim. And that embossing wasn't really standing out the way I wanted it to. 
this should have been done before I glued it down, but of course there's always regrets when you're working a project or always things you see after the fact that you wish you would have done earlier. But we accomplished what I needed to by using the ink pad to bring out the embossing on that toilet paper tube. And now to get the one inch circle, we'll do the same thing. Just punch that out with the hole punch, bring it in, paint it the light blue, and we shall use the black ink pad on this one prior to gluing it down. going around the outside edges of that as well. I'm going to sandwich another piece of cheesecloth underneath neath that small one inch circle. I shall glue that down, trim it up a bit, and get the edges frayed the way I want them. I'll glue that down. And almost complete. To finish it off, I will grab the liquid pearls in the copper color. This bottle is almost complete, finished, out of, out of the copper colored glue that comprises the liquid pearls. But we'll get the last little bit out of here. And I have another one on order, so hopefully that will be in soon because this is my go-to. I love the copper color and I use copper a lot. And I blubbed it on kind of in a mess. I'm going to wipe it off real fast and blub it on again and hopefully do a better job on round two. So there you have the completed cord. And that was the first one I made and lost the footage of the wires. So I created a second one to show you the how I put the wire onto the card. So I hope you enjoyed and get, will come back and join me for card number seven, which will be next week. Once again, my name is Peg. I hope you will take a moment and subscribe to my channel. You can check out my blog over at Two Old Crows Mix Media and get a list of all the items that I used with my affiliate links as well. And once again, thank you for being here. Appreciate those of you that have already subscribed. And I shall say bye for now. See you next week.